Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting number 49. I think if all things go well, we'll hit the mid-century mark uh, this year, which would be kind of cool. Two years into doing this, that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, we have some fun things to talk about. Actually, they're not so much fun things to talk about, but we need to talk about them. Uh, we'll get to that in the agenda. One real quick thing, these meetings are recorded for those people that are unable to be here right now, as always. So, without further ado, what are we talking about today? We're doing triage. We have a fair number of bugs. Um, I think it helps that we skipped last week, because last week was uh, Turkey Day here. Um, so, we'll go through all that, and we'll talk about the 4609 hidden variable encryption failure bug. That is probably the worst of the lot that we have at this moment. Um, and then we'll talk again about are we doing a v39 bug fix release or what are we doing that because we didn't come to a conclusive decision before plus we have 4609 to discuss in it and then as always we'll bring it open for people that want to talk about whatever they got going on related to the wix so without further ado triage bob ready i am ready all right here we go nine bugs nine bugs uh, although I think one of them down here is like left over from forever ago oh and of course I've just lost the mouse cursor lovely oh, okay so we've got no new d data here <sighs> uh, yeah yeah no reply no granted last week was Thanksgiving you want to try one more ping no I, I want to do the ping that says we're, we're resolving this based on you know if you have a force free start you may want to you will want to make sure that your things are cached and if you have more details about this issue you know and you're doing that and you have more details about this issue please do provide logs and that'll be another poke okay it's easy enough for them to reopen the bug there we go all right Wix standard BA shows success, set up success after product uninstall. Oh, this is the ah. uh, placeholder. Yeah. Um, I think we should take this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's not spend too much more time talking about it then. Solution project system environment constants not automatically set for me in 4.0. Okay. Well, was was platform ever set? I've seen yes. people refer to it, but yeah. Well, it's not. I don't know if it's set that way or if it's set automatically in the. Um, actually, I'm not sure that platform was ever set that way. Yeah, I've seen it before, but no. I think that one's built in. Oh, I forget. Anyway, um, we should look at this. It's entirely possible some change in the. Thing in the um, project file. No, the targets files broke this because there are some big changes to the 4.0 thing. So why don't yeah. we toss it in 4.0 and we'll look at it. Uh, but this is I not compiled this as MS build if you care to change the I area. will, yes. Multiple free records that's returned failure. I think that, yeah, Sean already has um, a bug. Oh. I, I, I took oh. that pull request, right, Sean? Okay. We have yeah. Okay. Uh let's go ahead and give this to Sean. Oh, this is not the one we were at four six oh eight, so I guess we need to add this to our list of things of stuff that we would discuss taking. Yeah, that that discussion is This is not gonna be yeah. fun. Well, depends on your definition of fun. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and get that open. Oh, it is black. Why is the screen black? Lovely. All right, let me close that, and let's see if the... No, that's not helping. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. All right. So that's a start. All right, screen going black again. Sorry, while we get the world all sorted out here. Fun in games, and let me try to bring that program back. So 
so when it goes black, it means Windows 8 does this funny thing where it's basically there's a window on top of everything. Yes, I know I'm presenting. Okay. Yay! Hopefully people can see that again. There we go. All right. Yes, I, I found the button and link that lets you lets me see what other people are seeing, and I was like, yes, it did go black. Hey, my mouse cursor is working again. Hey, bonus. <sighs> All right, so let's add 4608 to our discussions, what we're doing here. I'm curious. I think go. All right, these came from different people. Um, our access to hidden variable has a value attribute for default. Workaround was to move the hidden less than ideal. Install is fine, but attempt to repair, uninstall, or repair are met with an access error when the connection string variable is marked with a hidden attribute is accessed. Oh, I wonder if because, yeah, if we store the variable, that will create the problem too. If they were persisted, yeah, that would be the same as having it defaulted. Oh, yeah, sure. So that's another way to get into this. <sighs> All right, well, we have a fix for this. We have a small fix for this in 3.10, and we have, I think, even a bigger fix, a more complete fix for it. Or did that go into 3.10? Hmm. So, uh, no, I've merged okay. neither of, of the okay. two pull requests. They're both hanging out. I want to, yeah, we need to talk before I do that. All right, well, we should definitely open this bug. Yeah. And we will talk about that more when we come back around. Performance yep. counter manifest fails to registry. Uh, register, probably. Um, it's not registering the performance counter manifest. Running the unit test. the code, but if <sighs> that, that, that looks feasible. What's the difference here? Stir alloc formatted, PWZ, oh, PWZ data versus PWZ command. Oh, and the command's not used? Or data. Oh, data instead of command. All right, what? Yeah, right. Um, command sounds like a variable name that would be a command line, so. Yeah, well. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. But it wasn't, I can't imagine this was changed in 3.9. I don't believe so. All right, well. Are we adding this to the list now that we're doing 3.9 really releases here? Uh, no. Or no. I'm either whichever way you want to go. Yeesh. Um, if it's, I, I kind of, I don't want to. Um, when we get to that discussion, it'll be, you know. Uh, well, sorry. So the discussion is what do we do with this, with these bugs? Um, you know, are, are we talking about doing a very targeted hotfix release or a service pack? And Jacob brings up the real problem is like, you know, it, even if it looks like a trivial fix, testing it is less trivial. Testing is probably less trivial than fixing the bug, so. Yeah. Well, all right. So 3.10 open, and it should get fixed there? Yeah, I think that's the right move. All right. Duplicate code in 2013 package def. Uh, uh, this one's actually interesting. Um, the 2013 package def is... Not actually used. Um, but uh. the same problem exists in 